What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So we're back out here doing some trout fishing for some wild browns, wild rainbows. And man, I'm excited for this one. I'm not sure if you guys have seen my last video or not, but those fish were absolutely fired up. And we've got similar conditions this week. The water's about the same, slight stain. We got uh, a little pre-storm bite, hopefully. Uh, we got a thunderstorm rolling in this afternoon, this evening. So I brought rain gear. I'm, I'm ready for whatever today. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's a good bite like it was last week. But I'm out here now, just got in the water, had a little bit of a hike to get here. Let's get started, man, see what we can make happen. All right, so I'm starting with the same combo you guys have been seeing. It's a six foot nine medium light St. Croix Trout Series rod, Shimano Vanford 2000, eight pound P-line tactical fluorocarbon. And down here on the business end, we got the Rapala Countdown Elite. Let's get after it. There we go. <laughs> Took a minute, but we found one. Nice little bow for the first fish of the day. Come from right out here in the center of the current. There's a little bit of a rock over there, I believe. Not sure if he was hiding behind or under it. But I fished a couple, couple good holes of water and that's the first fish I've seen so far. But that is a fish nonetheless. Got us started. There we go. Another little guy. Gorgeous little brown trout. What you playing? I'm not gonna spend much time in this section because it's deep, slow water. I am gonna cast around the bottom end of it first though. And then we're gonna try to make our way through the woods to get around it. What we got here? Little smallmouth. You're not the target species today. Oh, I got hammered right there. He actually not slacking the line. That's why I quit reeling. I thought he wasn't on there no more. Haven't got into any size yet. This is a stocky little sucker. There we go. He ate twice right there. What is this? A little rainbow. He might come off before I can get my net out. Another aggressive little rainbow. Perfect dismount. Let's 
There we go. Let's say there has to be a fish over there. That, uh, that's a pretty good one. Drags tight. We got a rainbow here. See if we can get him back upstream a little bit. Oh yeah, now we're talking. It's a good rainbow. Right in the net. Definitely the biggest fish of the day. Right, I'm trying to get a rough measurement of this fish right here on the side. Just over 18 inches. All right, this is the biggest fish of the day so far. Nice 18 inch wild bow. Pretty fish. Let's put him back. All right, I made a couple more casts over there. No more fish, so we're gonna keep moving forward. There we go. Uh, this feels like a this feels like a good fish. Oh, it broke me off. No. That was a big fish, man. Got me into something. See a little bit of fray on the line there. Shoot. That's two weeks in a row that I've been swerved by a big brown trout. Last week one just come off, this week one broke off. You know, I was got, I was literally gonna retie after this hole. And I guess that's a lesson, just always, always retie if you think you need to. But that's the first time I've ever had tactical P-line fluorocarbon break. That's eight pound line. There probably was, I don't know if it got me into something or there was just a little something from that last fish dragging through the rocks, but that was a big fish. I, I mean, I couldn't even budget. That's the only countdown I had too. That's the only jerk bait I brought with me today. So we're gonna switch up, throw a spinner around and hopefully we have the same luck because that, that countdown was getting chewed. There's one. Oh, it's a, it's a small mouth. Not a bad one either. A little multi-species day. <laughs> Chunky little creek smolly. That fish come out of nowhere. There he goes. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Well, what a net job. home there we go a little bigger fish at least bigger than the last one
jointed jerk bait up there. What if I can get it? That's a big jerk bait. Somebody was throwing. Somebody's throwing this thing for some monsters. Should we tie it on? Let's do it. Let's tie it on. I've only caught three fish on the spinner so far since losing the jerk bait that I caught nine on this morning. <laughs> this thing may be a little bit big, but we're gonna give it a shot.